Hello and welcome to the beginning of this Let's Play. Now, a couple of things I want to speak about before um, I begin. The first thing is... This is heavily inspired by Sorcerer Dave's Idris Let's Play. Um, I watched it when I was very young and I've recently started watching it again because I thought it was that good. So I've decided I wanted to make my own thing. Um, in terms of mods that I have installed, I can't be specific because I've downloaded collections, like mod packs. So I've downloaded the Mor uh, Morrowind Rebirth, Oblivion Rebirth Plus pack, and then I've also downloaded the sort of roleplay collection that's on the, the sort of Nexus collections page. And I've smashed them together to create, uh, hopefully, something really good. Um, you'll also know that notice that he's inside of a ship and not in the Imperial Dungeons. And that is also because I've installed the um, alternate start uh, mod too, as well. Now, one other thing. So, I tried to install the journal mod... I guess, is it a Kyokaz or Kyoto's journal mod or something like that? Um, and it just wouldn't fucking work, right? I had tried for days and days to get this thing to to work, and it wouldn't. Um, and I've given up. I can't be bothered to do it. It's seriously <laughs> stressing me out, right? Um, and I just kind of want to get into the game, and I want to start playing it, and I want to start recording, right? So... I have thought of an alternative, and I've been testing it out, so I've, I've used sort of like Photoshop to, to get like a blank Oblivion book, and then I'm just going to type the journal entries into it using um, this, what's it called, Skyrim, uh, this sort of Skyrim Gaelic font on, on like Photoshop, and just sort of like type the journal entries actually in there, have them as separate separate pictures and then when it, on post editing I'm going to stitch them all together so you can sort of have them as like a journal entry and it, it would be as if nothing had happened right um, that's the goal anyway so we'll see how that turns out because uh, I haven't actually I've well I've written some mock ones but I've not actually written the main ones in so I guess we'll see what happens. We're going to have to play a couple of episodes, get some story, and then I'll sort of summarise it in the journals and have like a sort of separate episode. A bit like the Idris Let's Play in oh, sort of Dave. He has the sort of Idris journal um, entries, right? So, with that said, let's get on to the character development. Who is this man in front of you? I have seen him in a dream. Let me see your face. I know this guy's face, right? Who is he? Well, his name's Wilhelm. And he comes from Solitude. That's his. That's where he's originally from. He's about 20 to 25, sort of early 20s, right? Sort of guy. And uh, the thing about Wilhelm is that he's really, really gifted with magic. And he's really interested in magic. And because of that, he's always felt a little bit like an outsider in his own country, being from Skyrim. Everybody around him, including his family, were, you know, very, your typical Nord, right? Very interested in battle and axes and swords and things. Though he does have, he is really interested in swords and he does have, that's one of my skills that I'm going to pick. Or I have picked, I can't remember. Um, we'll see when I go to the bed. But... He's going to be skilled in Blade, um, because I want this to sort of reflect where he's, where he's from, the people he's grew up with, and he, the th sort of things that he's picked up along the way. And yes, he's going to have a lot of mage sort of elements to him. He's going to be alteration, destruction, conjuration, illusion, all these things, except mysticism. And I've replaced that with Blade. Might be a bad decision. I don't know. We're just going to ride it out and see what happens. Um, but anyway, so back to, back to his character development. So he... He comes from a household of four people, so his mum, his dad, his older brother, firstborn, called Harald, and you've got Wilhelm, right? He's the second child. And his brother, uh, Harald, was sort of 
the family favourite as well as being the firstborn, not just because he was the firstborn, um, but just because of his prowess. He was a very typical Nord, right? Much taller and wider than him, lots of beard hair, you know, he's just, just a big Nord. Whereas Wilhelm was more kind of cerebral. He was more kind of thoughtful than, than the rest of them. And um, he always felt like a bit of an outsider because of that. Uh, not because he felt superior to them, just because he was different. And everybody, like if he if he had been a a a warrior Nord living in the Somerset Isles, or sorry, a warrior Altmer living in the Somerset Isles, um, he would have felt the very same. It's it's one of those just things where you just don't fit in with the people around you. And so he went to the College of Winterhold, and. He went there for about four four months or so, four or five months, just kind of checking it out, learning a few spells, how to cast flame and things like this. But what he found is that the locals at the College of Winterhold, in this in the city of Winterhold, uh, really despised the people in the college, especially despised the Nords who decided to study magic. Right? There was a couple of instances where Wilhelm was in the local pub or inn. Just getting a couple of drinks. It's Friday night. You know, he's just spent five days studying at university. And he wants to get a bit drunk, right? And he wants to go to the pub. So he goes to the pub. And he finds that every single time he goes, there's always somebody out there in the in the, the shadows of the inn. You know, sitting at a table on their own. Making little comments, snidey comments towards him when he walks past to go to the bar to get drinks. You know? Elf lover. Magic poof. You know, little fairy. You never held a sword in, held a sword in your life, you fucking you know, all this sort of stuff. He's al he's always heard this when he when he was at the, the, the college, and it really annoyed him. It really, really annoyed him. It was the only place in Skyrim that you could really focus on magic. And it just wasn't it, man. You know, it really wasn't. So So he moved back to Solitude and, and and sort of had a discussion with his dad. It was his dad that he really spoke to about this. His mum, she's doing her own thing, and, and the brother, he's doing his own thing. So he really wanted to speak to his dad about this. And he said, look, dad, we all know that I'm, magic I'm magically orientated, and I'm actually quite gifted for a Nord, right? He was born under the Apprentice um, star sign, which in this uh, roleplay mod adds, like, extra magicka, but also makes you more... Res more uh, sensitive to magic so you've got a weakness to magic um he's always been like that he's always been highly interested in it as well as history he's been really interested in history and politics and you know figuring out the world what the hell's going on why is everybody around me not interested but i am interested in it the all these sorts of questions that that this character Wilhelm has been having throughout his whole life and he has a conversation with his dad about it and his dad's like you know what son i've known this since the day you were born that you were different and um, I've always tried to include you in things and, you know, made sure that your brother went easy on you. Because they, they did have a good relationship, even though there was some sibling rivalry, as there always is. Um, you know, they, Harold and Wilhelm actually did have a pretty decent uh, sibling relationship. Um, even though Wilhelm was, you know, very magic-y and, and not exactly your typical Nord and stuff like that. It was actually, it was fairly decent for that sort of situation, which Wilhelm was really grateful for, because it could have turned out a lot worse, right? Um, but he says to his dad, you know, that he wants to, he, 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 he feels really stifled living in Skyrim. He doesn't feel like anything is supportive for him. And he feels like he needs to leave. And he says, I want to go to High Rock, because that's where... That's the closest place to him that's sort of really magically orientated, right? And there's humans there. It's not just elves or whatever. But his dad, Wilhelm's dad, is really against um, High Rock and Bretons in general. He's got, a real, he's got a real thing about Bretons. He really doesn't like them because when he was, when he was a young man, he served as a mercenary in the city of Anticlair. Sort of like a guard for like one of the local barons, right? And this was during the um, the warp in the west that this all happened. Because his dad's about maybe sixty odds, so yeah, it was about thirty or forty years before Oblivion. I think the the 
the warp in the west happens. So yeah, his, his dad's dicking about. He's he's a he's a young mercenary, and he 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 had to live during that the confusion, the mass confusion. Everybody not knowing what happened. You know, I remember this happening. Well, that never happened. It was the opposite. Everybody's minds were screwed up completely because of what happened in the warp in the west. And when his father came back to Skyrim, he really had a thing against Bretons, um, which is. I would say typical of a Nord, but not to the ex not to the extent that he really didn't like them. Most people don't like dark elves and things, right? And all these sort of elves and things. But he really has an issue with Bretons. He really doesn't like them because of they're meddling. That's all. That's all it is. It's just they they, they meddle in things, according to his father's opinions, right? So when Wilhelm said, "I I want to go to High Rock and study with the Bretons," you know. He flew into a rage, just a, how dare you do that? I know, you should know how I feel about that, you know, you should you should know the situation with those Bretons, those pesky Bretons. What are you doing? So they ended up having a bit of an argument, and uh, he went to bed without saying goodnight to his mum and dad, just, just stormed out the room, went to bed, and then the next morning he woke up and he saw his dad sitting there. He looked a bit upset, his dad, you know, and... Wilhelm felt quite sad that he made his dad sad because he's not really used to seeing that. So he had a more kind of somber discussion about it and his dad agreed that yes, I will allow you to leave Skyrim and go live your life somewhere else in another country as long as it's not High Rock. And so Wilhelm decided he's going to get on a boat from the Solitude docks. He's going to sail round High Rock and round Hammerfell, and he's going to end up in Anvil. And that's where he seems to be on the course for, for, for today. Um, that's where he is right now, I think. Just approaching Anvil in the sea, getting ready to start off his new life. And that's where... I think we're going to start, we're actually going to leave this off. This is a sort of interlude, sort of prelude kind of video that I'm going to make. And after this video, this little short clip that I'm going to, so this is this is sort of like the introductory video, who I am, right? I'm, I'm Caging Mage and I'm going to be doing a Let's Play, a very sort of heavily role played Let's Play. We all know this, right? I want this to sort of be like a character development, who this guy is, what is he doing, why is he going, where is he leaving from, all this sort of stuff, as well as what mods I have installed, who I am, you know, what type of style it's going to be. I keep repeating myself, but you get what I mean. Um, and then episode one will actually play the story of, of what's happening. So I hope you enjoyed this little clip here. And I hope you're kind of hyped for it, because I know I am. I've never done a mage, a Nord mage uh, playthrough on Oblivion before. Um, and I'm looking quite forward to it, to be honest with you. I want to see what things I can get up to, what the limitations of my character might be, just because of natural limitations, just to, like, his race and things. Um, I, I do have a, 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 a thing I want to say before I go that I, I think he really wants to join the Mages Guild. That's the very first thing he wants to do. He wants to learn magic. So the very first thing he wants to do is, you know, screw the College of Winterhorn. I'm going to join the Mages Guild. And I think that's one of the first things that he's going to try and do. Although, obviously, he's going to have to get set up and things like that, obviously. Maybe rent a room at the local inn and things like this, right? So... He's still on his way. I think he's probably just on the coast of Hammerfell right now, I would say. Um, from his estimation, he's, he's uh, approaching Cyrodiil, but not quite. He's still on the coast of Hammerfell right now. And uh, when we next see him, he's going to be at the Anvil Docks. Hopefully. Unless there's a storm and he gets sailed off course, who knows. So, uh, I guess that's it. Um... I'll see you in the next episode, which I will make straight after this, but, you know, you won't know any different. And I hope you're looking forward to it as much as I am, because I know it might, it, depending on how I play this, it might be a disaster, but it might also be really quite interesting. So, uh, 
yeah, stick around. Bye for now.